to my last segment. Ow, I'm the squishy one, not me. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> he literally shot two bullets, I'm down at half health. What is good, you guys? Gourmet J here bringing you a brand new video, and this is the build you guys have been waiting on. This is my 1.8 high end Skulls Glove exotic build. So, let's get straight into it 5,600 firearms. 470 toughness, 170 skill power. Um, as you can see, I'm running the house, the M4. Um, I'm running these two because, I mean, these are my two favorite guns. Uh, the only reason I'm using an M4 right now, besides the LVOA, is because I like the recoil pattern on the uh, M4 when I'm not using Striker. When I'm using Striker, you like using the LVOA because uh, the accuracy is better. Um, I feel like I can manage the recoil better on the M4 with a gold build. Um, so uh, let's get into the actual build. Um, I'm running a Barretts with stamina, 1961 armor, um, health, skill, pay, skill haste, and ammo capacity with uh, two firearms, skill haste mods. Um, on my mask, I'm running refreshed. Excuse me, refreshed with skill power and uh, damage to elites. Um, usually, if I'm fighting a pred mark, I'm actually going. I would actually change it to refreshed. I mean, uh, not refreshed, rehabilitated. Uh, rehabilitated is really really good when fighting against Predmark um, number one because I mean they're they're putting you on bleed and the great thing that you I mean a good thing about this build is you can add you know keep that exotic damage resilience and you can stack you can get a bunch of damage resilience so when I'm, I'm using the Barretts um, in the video I will say in the video I was actually using Reckless my uh, my gold build versus classified prey and classified nomad I was using reckless so yeah I had 24x percent extra damage just coming back um, to the gold build you want to run this version I would definitely try definitely try out the bears because I mean it you get that that 5% burst damage uh, when you pop one skill and that's with 5600 firearms this is this builds right here is for toughness and more survivability if you're running in a group or you feel pretty confident you know in your skill you can boost your firearms up to like 7,000 uh, 7, I would have to change a couple mods around, uh, and then my toughness will be around like four or five, well, four fifteen, like between four hundred and four fifteen. And like I said, when you pop both skills, you give your booster, and then you pop both skills, your damage resilience goes right back up. And then with on the move, you're gonna be in the five hundred five hundred range. So yeah, your your toughness is gonna go right back up, and you still have all that burst damage that you uh, that output. Yeah. <clears throat> show you guys that this build is just an absolute monster <sighs> so depending on if they're a pred user or not I'm gonna guess they're not a pred user so since I don't think they're a pred user I'm gonna take rehabilitated off rehabilitated is really really good in this update like really really good against the pred mark and if you're you're super tanky and you're healing while they're they have you on that bleed it really helps out if I, I don't think I ever. Oh yeah, I do. Okay, there we go. And all right, here we go. It's a decent heal. Pop the skills. Whatever. Cut it anyways. He's gotta be upstairs. There he is. Just pop attack on me. Fifteen seconds. Oh my gun. 
What? Was it green on me already, dude? Yes, he's a no match. Somebody else behind. He's a no match. He's a 9k no match. damage for days. So as you can see, you can now play a Nomad. In that case, I would rather have Tenacious so I can do more burst damage, but that refresh still works out. So anyways, getting back to the build, I have SMG damage on these gloves. I'd rather have AR damage so that I can do uh, more burst damage. So usually when I'm running with AR damage, I mean these right here have the uh, the skill haste, but if, I'm not, if I don't want to run those, I'll run um, these gloves right here with the electronics for the the better heal so I can be super tanky with this and not really worry about my heal and I'll, I'll still have uh, get my heal back quicker because I have skill haste on here so I'm tankier I have skill haste and I mean I'm, I'm getting my heal back pretty quickly even though it's not gonna be all that great I mean I'm still getting my box back fast because my box is actually my main heal but if I'm running you know the other gloves then my main heal is my booster so either way is, is viable it's whichever it's however you want to run it so um, going to the mask when you're right fighting a striker or a nomad you want to go with refreshed or, or tenacious uh, with skill power and then um, if you're fighting against a pred you definitely want to go with the rehabilitated so on my knee pads I have health uh, firearms and armor uh, I mean health with the third uh, the firearms is 1375 the armor is 1631 damage to elites disorient resistance increased kill XP so the minor Confirmed. attributes are, are whatever no and, um, on my backpack I have specialized role for firearms I have pre pretty decent um, armor rolls on here with health and ammo capacity and then on my holster I have skill haste and uh, okay rules as far as the uh, as far as the major stats so um, the thing about this, I'd have to switch out my M4, and I'd have to make sure that competent is in the last slot. Um, let's see. Yeah, I have one of the, one of these. Is, one of these is comp, has competent in the last slot. I have a couple of M4s in my, in my bag. Um, so yeah, that's how that is. So I'll throw these on so you guys don't get confused. This is what I usually run with. Uh, okay. So that's that. It's a booster. There's that, and then I'm going to show you guys the toughness, 636k toughness, and that's with the electronics. That's with the electronics gloves. If I had stamina, I would have over 700k toughness. That's absolutely amazing. So you'd be super tanky if you're face tanking somebody with those skills, and then you have your skill haste, so your skills are coming back faster, and you can just do the same thing over and over again, and you have all this burst damage. So... The thing is with the gold build you guys, it is absolutely versatile and is absolutely amazing. So do not sleep on this build because you can take anything down. You can take any build down you guys. And So I'll show you guys my uh, my skills. I'm running the booster and I'm running the box. Um, like I said, my box is my main heal, but uh, the booster definitely helps out. And right now with my skill haste, I'm getting my... And getting my uh, heals, my main heal back, which is my box, at 22 seconds, and then my booster back at 30 seconds. And that's not even with the skill haste on the gloves. Um, yeah, right here, this is a crit damage, crit chance, and assault rifle damage. So that is uh, that is the build, you guys. Um, as far as the talents I'm running, I'm running on the move. I'm running precision uh, with crit save and uh, strike back, and then my crit chance with my uh, house is 37%, 98% crit damage, and then on my uh, the crit chance on my M4 is only 14%, but then I'm still getting the precision, and I can throw on crit chance mods if I want. The mods that I have on here, I'm sorry, I forgot to, I forgot to show you guys. I actually have firearms and skill haste mods to get my skills back faster. And that's stamina skill haste, it's electronic skill haste, and uh, stamina skill haste. So this is all skill haste mods. And I mean, if I wanted to, I could just take my booster off and I can run a pulse. And that could be 
I could I could just get a bunch of crit chance right there. So I mean this build is, is extremely versatile, you guys. So however you want to run it, it, it still works out. So you see the pulse is almost 20%. So I can get it 20% on top of the crit chance I already have, and then the temp what was the crit chance again? Let me just make sure. So it was a 1850. I can run a little bit more skill power if I wanted to and pop that pulse. My crit chance right now is 1450. Like, come on now. And then I get I'm, I'm gonna have almost 45% uh uh crit chance so this build is ultra versatile it's good for anything um, <laughs> this build is extremely slept on you guys so don't think just because classifies out those are the only that's the only build that you guys can run so I appreciate you guys coming through I appreciate you liking my videos if you want to see more gameplay just check out my uh, gold build versus the uh, versus the Pred and classified nomad vid all right you guys appreciate you coming through have a good one